Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today, we will be talking about how to set up an edge-to-edge -edge design in the Autopilot Mach 3 system for your Innova longarm machine. The first thing you are going to do is set up your quilt size and sew zone. To set your quilt size, click on settings and scroll down to quilt size. The quilt top I'm working on today is 72 inches by 88 inches, but I'm actually going to set my size to 76 inches by 92 inches. This ensures that I have enough design around all four sides of my quilt top in case it doesn't roll perfectly straight. After you set your quilt size, you need to set up your sew zone. First, you will select the sew zone tool at the bottom of your screen. Then follow the prompts and move your sew head to the rear right corner of your intended sew zone and hit accept. And then move your sew head over to the front left corner of your intended sew zone and hit accept. Once you complete those steps, your sew zone should appear on your screen as a gray box. The last thing I am going to do is just double check that my quilt top fits correctly in both my quilt grid and my sew zone. To do this, I am going to move my machine head over to the left edge of my quilt top and check the screen to make sure my crosshairs are in both the quilt grid and the sew zone. Then I'll move the machine head to the top edge of the quilt top to check. And lastly, the right edge of the quilt top to check. Once I am satisfied that my quilt top fits correctly in both the quilt grid and the sew zone, I can start setting up my design. The first thing I'm going to do is select the design I want from my pattern pad. For this quilt, I know that I want to use the design called Soho, so I'm going to scroll through until I find it. When I do, I can just click it and drag it over onto my quilt grid. Now that I have my design selected, I can play around with the sizing. One of the most convenient tools with Anova is the actual size tool. When you click this tool, you can see the actual size of your design. And what this means is each one of the squares on your grid right now represents one real inch. This is especially helpful because you can determine the size of different elements within your design and adjust accordingly to best complement your quilt top. Once you play around with the proportions and get the design to a size you are happy with, you can go ahead and create the edge to edge. To do this, I'm going to select the edge to edge tool and under the settings for this tool, I want to make sure trim is selected and that the edge to edge width and height matches that of my quilt top. And then I can select generate edge to edge and our design will populate on the quilt grid. Now on here, I don't really care for the gap in the spacing, so I'm going to manually click and drag one of the rows and nest it into the row above it. And once I release, all of the rows will snap to have the same spacing, and I will just go over and reset my offset to zero because I didn't place it exactly center, but I wanna make sure it is. And so now we have a full edge to edge on our quilt grid. Next, we want to group all of the rows that fit within our sew zone together so that they sew in one continuous pass. To do this, we will go up to the group tool and select link. Then, starting from the top of the quilt, we will select each row in order going towards the bottom. Once all of the rows that fit within our sew zone have been selected, we will hit accept. Now, all of those rows have become one item. You can see this by clicking on it and it's all one group. The last thing we have to do before we are ready to stitch this out is trim our design. Earlier, when we set up the quilt size and the quilt grid, we made it about two inches larger than our actual quilt top on either side. So we're going to use the trim tool to trim the design at the edge of our quilt top. 
And the way we do this is using the trim tool, we will drag the sew head along the left side of the quilt top, the top of the quilt top, and the right side of the quilt top. Here you can see that we're doing the left side of the quilt. And we do this simply by dragging the sew head over to the outside of the quilt top. Now, we don't want to go too far past the quilt top, but we do want to make sure that the entire thing will be covered by our design. Once you are satisfied, you can hit accept and the area that was highlighted orange will be the part that is trimmed or deleted. Now you can see we're doing the same thing across the top of the quilt and I'm just dragging the sew head. You can see this is how it looks on the computer screen when I drag that along. The orange part is what will be trimmed away and the black part is what will stay. And this is the view from when we're doing it in person. We are just slowly moving the machine across the top of the quilt, making sure that we don't go too far past, but that the entire quilt will be quilted. And then lastly, we do the left side. Now when you roll your quilt, you will only have to do right and left, but on the first pass of your quilt, you will have to do the right, left, and top. And on your final pass, you will have to do the right, left, and bottom. And now that we have all three sides trimmed, we can go ahead and get this stitching. Once I hit go, you will get a little pop-up message that says one or more cute patterns are outside your sewing area, DQ and proceed. You're just always going to hit yes to that. And then everything that's outside of your sew zone turns orange. What's in your sew zone stays green. And right now the computer is thinking and it's just transferring this sew design over to your sew head. And you can see there's progress down in the bottom. It'll pop up. Um, with this dialog box the first time you just hit continue and then your sew head will move to the point it wants to start and then another dialog box will pop up this is when you do needle down needle up floss your bobbin take a couple stitches to make sure everything is secure and then we can hit continue and it will begin stitching out your design Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to set up edge to edge on the Arnova Autopilot Mach 3 program. If you have any questions about this process or you have suggestions for future videos, please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we will be putting out more informational videos on all things quilting. And make sure to keep an eye out for our how to advance your edge to edge design video because that will be releasing soon. I hope you have a lovely day and happy quilting.